The following is a disclaimer. We are too brown and down, but introduce ourselves as Brown Boys Are Us in the beginning of the podcast. We found out that Brown Boys Are Us was already taken by another group after recording this episode. Fuck those dudes. Please disregard that part of the introduction. Not the fuck that was these part, <laughs> but the introduction part. Roll the intro music. Fire, fire, hey. Okay. <laughs> nice. Okay. Fuck. All right. What's up, guys? <laughs> it's your boys, Lada and Ram. I'm Ram. That's Lada. We're out here uh, doing Brown Boys R Us episode five for you guys today. Um. So right now we're in what's called an operational pause. Um, we kind of don't really have any tasking on the ship, so we're trying to get as many as try, money. Trying to use this time to record episodes while we have free time. <laughs> as money. As money. Um, so we were talking the other day about the things that we want to do when we get back, and it kind of got on the subject of, you know, what are some of our favorite places. Oh, so Ramirez. In the three different places, at least that I've lived. I don't know if you've lived in any more places than the Cal- three different... California, California Illinois, Illinois, and Virginia. Virginia. Yeah. Oh, my God. We're twins. Dude. So... We're like the same brown person. That's where I've lived before. Um, hey, Ram. I have a question. What are, like, some favorite places that you've been to? Was that good? Ever? Was that good? Ever. In the three places you've lived at. Um... Well, we could go back, start at home. Uh, Mexico. Mexico. I'm not from <laughs> Mexico, motherfucker. <laughs> I'm from Orange County, California. I don't hail from a village. Oh. So, Orange County is the village, right? No. <laughs> I mean, personally, I just really like going to movies. Interesting. Like, in general. <laughs> so, in particular, the Regal Cinema over on uh, Imperial Highway was like the big movie theater that we all went to like from grades 6 to like our senior year. Imperial Highway. Yeah. So I mean I was going there when I was like in 7th grade fucking ooh. My friends would like steal stuff from the party city that was like also in that shopping center and I'd just be standing outside like guys uh, we shouldn't be here for too long uh my mom's gonna find out about this, and I don't know if that's such a good idea. You sound like, like Morty. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. No, like your actual like impersonation of yourself is Morty. <laughs> and so, uh, yeah, I had a lot of good times there. One time, I saw my cousin like beat the fuck out of one of my friends. Nice. It was a girl. A girl beat up my friend. Really? It was a dude. Yeah. So he was like trying to grab her butt, and she like Ooh. pushed him on the ground, just like. Fucking wailing on his ass. <sighs> fucking kicked him in the stomach and the balls and like spit on him and well, who's walked that? away. Parkside gain, yeah. fucker! <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had to. It was from End of Watch. Uh, <laughs> oh, God. And so we kind of thought that was funny. And she was my cousin, so I was like, that's hilarious. Yeah. Fucking stupid. Just fucking destroyed this kid. Yeah. Um, what was your like common hangout? So, okay, I can, I can relate to the movies thing because. Where I live in West Covina, I actually live right next to the shopping center there. Yeah. Next to Westfield Mall. And it has an Edwards Cinema right across the street from it. Yeah, yeah. So, if I were to walk from my place to West Covina Mall, I would have to cross the movie theaters. Okay. And I used to go there all the time. Because it would be like Tuesdays, like fucking $5 yeah. or something like that, you know? And, yeah, we used to go to the movies over there all the time. Uh, we used to go to Punta Hills Mall for the movies. Just the movies, though. Like, Punta Hills Mall was... Never like they have a that big thing. bowling alley there now. Now, yeah, yeah, but like back back when we used to go there all the time, it was just because of the movies. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, it was before they came out with round one. That's the Which bowling, bowling alley place. Yeah. yeah, I heard that place is pretty fun. It has like not just bowling, but it plays there's karaoke. Yeah. There's a uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, arcade games and stuff like that. I think for that particular reason, because I went to the movies a lot as a kid, like with my mom, not my mom, but with my dad. Um, he would, like, take me to go see whatever, or, like, take me and my sister to go see whatever. And okay. he'd always be... So we'd, like, me and my sister would pick the movie, and then he'd be in the movie like this. Passed out. Fucking knocked. Dude, that's was, like me. 
we'd be like, we'd wake him up and be like, Dad, you're missing it, you're missing it. And then, so I started taking my brothers to the movies, and whenever I go home, like, that's you our thing. Out? Yeah, I'd take him to go get sushi, and then we'd go to the movies. And if it was a movie I wasn't particularly interested in, just, I'm like, whoa. <laughs> whoa. I've ascended to Theo <laughs> status. Have you ever seen that? To what? That meme? That's like this dude holding a beer, like, holding a piñata. No. And he's like, today I officially became a Theo. Like, <laughs> no. Has, he's like doing the piñata thing and holding the beer. No, I haven't seen beer. any Hispanic memes oh, like that. You gotta join the group. Sorry. It's really good. Shh. Ay! <laughs> is that what it is? Ay, ay! Uh, so yeah, I also agree with you. Movies. We used to go all the time. And then when we got older, we used to... Well, maybe it's just me. Oh, you get fucked up before we go. Uh, we didn't get fucked up. Yeah. I went to a lot of midnight premieres, though. Like, yeah. A lot of, like, all the superhero movies up until, like... Oh, really? Yeah, Age of Ultron, which is the second Avengers movie. Yeah. Um, I saw, like, all those at the midnight premiere. Because my one friend, like, come to the midnight premiere, and I'd be like... I guess. Yeah, sure. Remember, I was poor, though, so I'd be like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotta scrounge up, like, a couple quarters around the house. Jeez. And fucking... All right, I got twelve dollars. What are you gonna eat for dinner? Ah, I'll eat before I go. <laughs> yeah, I used to do that too. Uh, it was a, it was kind of a thing. Like when I first got into the Navy, like it was weird. Like every time, every Christmas, like Christmas time, yeah, Star Wars would come out. So every time I went home, I would watch Star Wars with my best friend, David Zayas. We'd always go. David Zayas. David Zayas. Zayas is his last name. Okay. Yeah. We would go watch Star Wars movies all the time. So. Uh, what's another? So, Ramirez, you said the cinema. Yeah, the cinema. Well, um, what's another place you like to go fucking to? Fucking goddamn. We used to have this place called Mocha Salsa. It's now called Santana's, but it's basically the same thing. It's like a little 24-hour Mexican restaurant. Okay. Um, like a little fast food Mexican place, basically. And, like, in the morning <laughs> you get... It's 24-hour drive through but in the morning you get there... And, like, they have all the doors locked. They're just people working inside. No, oh, okay. Like, doing do the drive through stuff. And so, me and my friend got there at, like, 7 in the morning. This is, like, junior high. And they had, like, what the kids would say, the bombest breakfast burritos. Yeah. They were fucking yeah, 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 yeah. really, really good. And then by the time you get them to school, like, all the cheese, cheese melted. Cheese melted. And, like, everything was so warm already. So, like, the burrito isn't cold. I like that. And That's so. delicious right now. Oh, it was really. You put the green sauce on it. Fuck yeah, the green sauce on Get it. Get out of here, dude. The salsa verde. The salsa verde. <laughs> and so, we're like fucking knocking on this door, and the little Mexican dudes in the back there are watching these two kids like, we want burritos. Is like, no, no. <laughs> like they just not coming to the door. Mijo, no. And then this fucking chick comes up. She's probably like, probably old, probably. 17 or 18 by the time we're all like whoa okay we she was like 23 or 24 but she's probably younger than we had previously thought but like big old you know boobs and, but <laughs> she was good looking at me at any rate and she like ting 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 and they're like oh they they served her <laughs> and like open the door and because they opened the door for her they obviously had to let us in too yeah. But my dad dropped us off early that day. I know that's a weird story to say, like, this is one of my memorable places, but <laughs> that's, like, something I always remember about that place, but their food was just really, really good, yeah. and, you know, that's, like, the, on beach, the fucking drunk spot, everybody's like, yeah. let's go get fucking yeah. fun, I saw the fries. We had one of those, too, in West Virginia. Like, somebody's like, you want to share? And you're like, fuck, fuck no. no. <laughs> I'm getting mine, fucking poor broke bitch. Is that, uh, do they have super fries there? Or, like, uh, carne asada fries? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. Exactly, exactly. Oh. So good. Now it's Alberto's. That's, like, oh, the yeah. spot. Yeah, that's a spot. Wait, they call it Alberto's now? Or is that... No, no. That one's called Santana's now. Oh, okay. But, like, the spot... Yeah. Um, cause they were, it was weird, like, a weird sort of, like, community fucking stinginess thing. Like, oh, you replaced Mocha Salsa, the, like, mainstay oh. of this street for fucking 20 years we're not eating there we're eating at alberto's now ah uh, okay so people still go there but not as many as fucking I mocha salsa alberto's there. is the place that we go to all the yeah. time there that's like a chain that you look at it and it doesn't look like a chain yeah you're like oh it's like two i feel like every every restaurant or every um yeah every restaurant is like different yeah like you can't tell you that just, there's one because like the one we have is 
There used to be like a Wiener Schnitzel there. Oh, really? And then like the other one is just like used to be like a Chinese food place. <laughs> like, what, how'd you? Yeah, Alberto's is a shit, man. Oh, They're fucking. So good. Yeah, the California burritos was ridiculous. Fucking smacking. Um, I'm thinking of one now. Yeah. I mean, what is this? What is this song? Going. What is what you talking about though? Memorable. Memorable places. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we can keep going then. <laughs> um. <laughs> I remember, obviously, going to Illinois, and you know, you like, so when you graduate from boot camp, the way it happened for us is like, you graduate from boot camp, they put you on a bus, and they like send you to the next base, like right across, across the street, street yeah. and you're all like, it was like snowing on my graduation day, October 31st, of 2014. Sucks. Okay. And so I'm like looking out the window and everybody's like in their uniform because it's a Friday. So everybody's like hyped up to get the weekend going and they're like, oh, yeah. Hey, look at the bus full of new kids. And I'm like, wow, this place is so cool. Everybody's so nice. And like as soon as I got off the bus. <laughs> Across the street. Yeah, they're all like, fucking grab your shit and get to your barracks. I'm like, oh, no, it's mean again. <laughs> it's mean again. No. Everybody's mean. <laughs> and uh, but the place I used to go there all the time was called Twisted Burger. Did you ever go there? No. no. It was 50% off fucking no. food for military. So you like order all this stuff and if your fucking thing was no. like 20 bucks, it'd be like I'm 10 I'm thinking bucks. of a different place. And it'd be a lot of food. Did you go to Meatheads? <laughs> no. That one's good. Sorry, on that too. makes you laugh because I call somebody Meathead on the show. Oh. Ah. No, that place no. is good. That was like right next to the Target down the street. Oh, that dude. was gonna be my second memorable place. Target? No, me. Oh. <laughs> I was like, I mean, I go to Target all the they time. They had too. really good French fries there. No, I can't. I don't know. My friend went to school out there, fucking Columbia or whatever. I don't remember what school, honestly. In Chicago. In Chicago, yeah. I don't know. So I went and stayed with him, and he like took us around it was before we were twenty-one. So we weren't like drinking. So we were like, we went to this place called Eleven City Diner, just like a little Jewish diner. And they're like. He's like, yeah, dude, they make their own root beer here. It's so good. And I'm like, we like got all you can drink root beer. And we're like, ooh, wow, root, root beer. beer. I ended up taking this girl there. I set up a date. And it was like, I took her to the Shed Aquarium. Nice. I took her to Eleven City Diner. Okay. And then I took her to this, like, frozen yogurt place. And then, Froyo? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then if we wanted... To get a hotel, a hotel, we could get a hotel after. You know, that was kind of like the grand scheme. And <laughs> the every, grand scheme. Everything ended up working out well. Uh, we did not go get Froyo. Instead, we got a cake at Eleven City Diner. Mm. It was really good. And yep. then things kind of with her kind of fizzled out at the time. And then, like two weeks later, I took another girl. Forgive me. The same exact, the exact same day. Oh, wow. You're just trying to test it out. Yeah. Let's see who, who's going to work on. Um, <laughs> well, it worked on her, and then it worked on the next girl, but the next girl was a little bit older than me, and she was all like, how many? Because it was like, I guess it was way too planned out, and she was like, uh, guys are assholes. They don't plan shit out. Guys are assholes? They yeah. Don't plan- I think, really? I think what? that's how she was thinking, because she's like, how many girls have you taken on this date before? And I was like, you're the first wow. one. Wow. So you want to get a hotel or not? <laughs> yeah, sure. Yeah. Ended up leaving that girl for the first girl. Oh, uh, what a love story. Not nah, so. That's a love story. Right uh, but yeah, Eleven City Diner was really good too. It's a good food place. I'm trying to think of... Did you ever go to Wrigley Park? No. Dude. I know. What did I even do with my I life? I was supposed to riff if you didn't do anything. I... I I'm sorry. Watching the Cubs play. It was weird that it was in the middle of a city for me because I'm used to like lot or not Los Angeles, but Angels, the Anaheim Angels or the yeah. LA Dodgers, because like their shit is like sequestered off. Yeah, yeah. It's like the only thing when you exit the freeway. Yeah, exactly. Like that's their own stuff. So just have it like smack dab in the middle of the city. Better off just taking a fucking car or a fucking subway ride there than actually driving into it. You know. Yeah, I just never. I don't know. I'm not a. I'm not a baseball fan. I know it's like you didn't even have to be. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I never like just thought of doing it. I went near there. Like I went, no, I went to that park. Where is that? I don't know what that park is over there in Chicago. Fucking with the, with that. The bean? 
Yeah, with the bean. That's not near Wrigley Park at all. <laughs> Whatever, dude. That's close. Is it not? No. Oh. It's, it's dude, like, you weren't even there, bro. Way far. Get out of here. Um, I hung out with people that were like kind of older than me. Not kind of older. They were older than me. They're all like 23 and 24. And I was like dude, 20. Dude, that's, that's old, dude. For all you old people out there. Yeah. All you old people. 23 um, is old, obviously. So they wanted to do all that cool shit that was like, go to Wrigley Park and like, go to fucking music in the park. And I'm just sitting there like, can't really drink, so I'm like, no. So you're just there sober. You're the I'm sober ha- buddy. I'm having a great time. Is this right? DMK. Just making sure. DMK is so another burger place. Lots of burger places. Um, dude, let me let me get a turn, dude. Devil Dogs. Dude, let me get a turn. Dude. That one's on some memorable, though. Their Come shakes on, are good. Dude. I'm talking right now. All right, go ahead. Have you thought of something now? Yeah. Ikea. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> no, I swear. Next to the Westfield Mall? Uh, oh, shit. Yeah. I've been to that Ikea. That's like, that one was the shit. I used to go there. My all, I had a whole bunch of buddies that worked there. Yeah. And I remember one time, I was in a very, very good mood, I guess you could say. And we went there because we were hungry. And my buddies were like or my buddy he worked at the concession stand with the hot dogs pizza and ice yeah. cream at the end she after the meatballs no he no that's a diff- that's the restaurant dude the uh, restaurant I've only serves- been to Ikea like twice oh okay yeah see so you, you don't know <laughs> but at the end at the after the cash register there's like that little concession stand that sells like hot dogs pizzas yogurt or not yogurt uh, ice cream like little snacks to, to take to go home yeah this motherfucker gave me 12 hot dogs <laughs> For 50 cents. Oh, my God. Because they were closing. So he was like, yeah, we got to get rid of these anyway. So here you go. But that's not why I like that place. I just like that place because my parents, actually, they go there every Sunday after church. So every time I go home, I go with them to Why do they go there? Because breakfast is like a dollar. They have breakfast <laughs> there, too? Yeah. The breakfast, they're, they're like, I can't remember what it was. Like, the big breakfast, that's what they call it, is like a dollar. And you can get, like, pancakes for, like, two. Um, it's, like, here. Uh, so, I mean... So, no. <laughs> it's, like, the fucking potatoes, like, some meat, and... The fucking... The fucking, you know? I like Ikea. Ikea's cool. I like building all the shit that they have there, and it's very, uh... I just don't like buildings. <laughs> oh. I guess that's my, my problem, though, not yours. Yeah, it is your problem. Myself. I'm not taking you to Ikea. Um... I took you brought up the Westfield Mall earlier I was with this uh, I was at this like church event and my friend who like had a crush on me brought this girl and I was like so your friend the girl brought another girl yeah the girl brought another girl okay and like I got that other girl's number nice and we were like texting and stuff I was like I just finished painting this dude's fence at an apartment complex and um was he your friend or did he just like hire you uh it was my you meet jared did you ever meet jared no but well, he's the one that came through yeah okay yeah i know uh you know. jared uh he uh <laughs> his mom his mom's sister was like the caregiver to this old dude who owned a whole set of apartments okay and she like they hired Jared to paint the fence and he was like hey bring somebody along it's a two person job and Jared was like hey this dude's offering us a hundred bucks to Whoa, paint his fence a hundred we like, bucks we were like 16 15 <laughs> dude but that's what a hundred bucks only yeah it would have been a rip off <laughs> but we ended up we did such a good job he gave us two hundred dollars each oh wow so that was a little bit more worth it but so I had all this money yeah, fucking a hundred and sixty-eight dollars because I spent my fucking money right away, and I went to the mall, that Westfield Mall, with this girl, and she was like, "Ooh, can you buy me this? Ooh, can you buy me this? Oh Ooh, my can God. you buy me this?" Wait, like, were you even like dating it? No, or just... this is like the first time we've hung out outside of the little fucking thing we just did, the, the little thing? church event. Yeah, and so I was like, "No, no, no, no," and you did. No, no. Why would I? Oh, I don't know. And so... Oh, you really didn't? No, I really didn't. Oh, okay. Why would I buy her anything? I don't know. It was my money. She didn't pay no fence for that shit. <laughs> she but didn't I went, pay no fucking fence. <laughs> I went back to the apartment. All right, I went back to her fucking place um, for my parents to pick me up. And my parents were definitely like, who the fuck is this girl you're hanging out with? I was yeah. like, don't worry about her. She's cute. And... Uh, so she's cute? She's cute, yeah. Okay. 
and she me and her like ended up making out which was like a big move too to me yeah because i was like oh fuck i'm out here doing it fucking out here making moves and then she would want to talk on um, umegal umegal yeah you know Umi- umigli. Umigli? umigli is that what it's called yeah i think so and my sister pointed out she's like why'd you download umigli on the computer and i yeah. was like uh because so-and-so wanted to talk on it and she's like only fucking hoochie mamas <laughs> <laughs> talk on umigli <laughs> and i was like well, i don't know i guess that's the one where like it like you can go to like random people. The one? I don't know. I just talked to her on it. Uh, like as soon as I stopped talking I think, to her. I think I'm thinking, but I'm we used to else. like be on that thing for like three hours. It was wow. like for a week. We would talk for like three hours a night, and she'd be like, "I'll be right back. I'm gonna go get a snack." And we're you, fucking. We're like in high school at the time. Yeah. No, she no, like no, no. come back you. with a banana. Oh. <laughs> she'd be I, like, I see where this is going. <laughs> and I was like, you know, he, he did hand motions of peeling a banana, by the way. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but they, they don't, they're not fair hearing enough, you. Fair um, hand motions of peeling the banana. <laughs> and then she, the girl goes and, like, starts shoving it down her throat. And I'm, like, 15, like, oh, hello, yes. <laughs> I am James. I will have a future. Um, but I think I ended up, she, like, couldn't carry on a conversation whatsoever. Yeah. And be like, hey, how are you? Good. Oh, Oof. cool. What are you doing today? Nothing. Oh, God. Um, and I think the when she asked me to buy a bunch of stuff for her, it was, like, really annoying. So I was like, I don't think I can deal with that for the rest of my life. Wow, you're already thinking about the rest of your life with this girl. Dude, huh? I'm always thinking forward. Ever since that banana thing. Every day. <laughs> and so... I wonder what she could do with it. With orange. an apple. Oh. oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and so... That's my memory of the Westfield Mall. Ah. Oh. Was fucking Umigli Girl. Oh, me, good girl. And then, like, two weeks... Because we were still friends on Facebook. And two weeks later, she, like, posted this video of her burning her ex-boyfriend's shirt. Oh. And my sister was, like, showed it to me. How, is she... Good I know... you didn't stay with that chick. I know this is kind of... We're kind of getting sidetracked about what we're talking about. But did she... Is she still cute? Um, she got a little... A little bigger, yeah. I'd say. Yeah. Did she get pregnant? I don't know if she got pregnant. Maybe. She had, like, the... Fuck... She was, like... If you looked at her, she would wear, like, short shorts and, like, big flowy shirts. But then when she talked or spoke, she would fucking sounded like a chola. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck do you think you're doing? And you're like, whoa, what? Curbside gang. Yeah. <laughs> Curbside gang, fuckers. And I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, she was Hispanic? Yeah. Really? Yeah. She went to fucking Chino, Chino High or something Chino like that. Chino Hills? Yeah. Oh, okay. Wait a minute. I thought you only dated... The white girls. No, this was... This was before this that was phase. young me. Not uh, really... I wouldn't say before that phase, but... <laughs> stepping out of my comfort zone here. Yeah. Interesting. I actually... Westfield Mall was where... Have you ever seen the show... Or the movie Mall Rats? Uh, I haven't seen it, but I know what it is. You yeah. know what it is? Yeah. I mean, they just chill in the mall. Yeah, and yeah. And just kind of like... Fucking bums. Yeah. Fucking That's what you used to do all the time. Oh, you're, I, a, yeah. you're a mall rat? Yeah, because, I mean, I used to live there. I mean, not live there, like but I used to live, like, right there, yeah. yeah. So you'd just be like, oh, what do you want to do? Oh, you want to just go to the mall? Like, oh, all right, sure. Why that. not? What happens if you don't have money? What do you do? We were just, wa- we were not, we were not going there to buy anything. We were going there to just walk around and just hang out. Every day? No, it wasn't every day. No. It was just, like, when we didn't have anything to do. That's fair. That's like when, you know, you ever take those, like, you kind of just bored, like, want to go to Walmart? Yeah, or yeah, like yeah. Target. Yeah, go Target. Find, oh, like, Target. Stupid, that's, stupid shit at. That's Walmart. terrible though. That's a terrible. See, idea. you go, you go to Walmart to find stupid stuff. You go to Target, like thinking you're gonna find stupid stuff, and end up buying out with like a hundred and fifty dollar <laughs> yeah. cart, like. Fuck. And it's like five things. Why do I even need <laughs> scented candles right now? <laughs> yeah. They were on sale. Target's 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 a trap, honestly. In uh, Illinois, when we stayed up there, for I was uh, I was up there for a year and a half. How long were you? Uh, two years, maybe even more mm-hmm. than that. Gross. We yeah. there's this place called Kawas. And uh, car wash? No, <laughs> Kawas. What's that? I don't know why this is up here. I'm sorry. It was. Uh, I, yeah, keep looking, gotta, I keep we, looking at it. We got to do. I was actually doing good, not looking at it. Oh, I was looking at it, but I didn't care. We're talking about the little like 
sound sequencer as we're talking. For Audacity. Yeah, it'll like. We're not sponsored by Audacity. It'll so. like give levels of wow, sound. Wow, wow. And that's all. It's just going. It's very mesmerizing. Sure. But yeah, Kawas was an all you can eat sushi and all you can eat Mongolian barbecue place. No. So if like. I didn't really like, go out a lot. What is Lakes. wrong with you? Because I didn't have friends that had cars there. You would always have to take a taxi. Yeah, that's what we did. Fuck that, dude. Why would I pay a taxi? I'm fucking Navy rich, bitch. In no. Great Lakes. Not, no. No. No, no, that's no. back when our paychecks were like six hundred bucks, yeah, and we were bro. like, "That's that's the most money I ever made." So I was, I was like, "No, dude, I was no." But I then was, it got expensive, like getting hotels every weekend with my girlfriend. Exactly. I was. Are we gonna get I a hotel? The, you got hotel. fucking. Where are you gonna stay? Candlewood Suites. You got Candlewood Suites money? <laughs> I don't think so. Red Roof Inn. <laughs> dude, you can't stay there. Why not? It was red carpeted. It was a red roof inn. Red, red Roof Inn was literally the one of the hotels that they said. You cannot go to. Didn't stop us. <laughs> I remember what. that because, like, maybe that was when you got there. The first, the first day I got to boot camp or got to TSC, they said that, and then my parents picked me up, and, and we went. They were at the Red Roof Inn. I was That's like, funny. oh, interesting. My sister it was like a two-story boot place, camp. Yeah. Yes, I know exactly the one you're talking yeah. about. We actually went there one time and we like opened our room, and like. The room was a mess still, and the, like the bed was unmade, and we we're all like, bah. went back to the front desk. Like, any sane person should have been like, uh, "We fuck? want our money back." Yeah, yeah, yeah. we're not staying here, but we we're trying to fuck, so we just, <laughs> hey, uh, that room is still dirty. Can we get a new room? And they're like, "Oh yeah, of course." So this the new stuff. But my sister graduated from Navy boot camp, and that's the first time I went over to Great Lakes when I was like in fifth grade. Oh, really? Wow. Yeah. And it was funny because I don't remember what hotel we stayed at, but I remember, like, the pool set up for that hotel. I didn't go to the pool, so I don't um, Well, this is when I was, you know, a child. Yeah. So, like, the indoor pool in Great Lakes was fucking cool. It was really cold there. And then I obviously came back, and I always wondered, like, I wonder where that what that hotel was, where it actually was. And then yeah, my so girlfriend. was the thing you think when you're five years old. Sorry. No, no, no. When I went there again. Oh, yeah. Okay. And I like. I wonder when I was fucking in fifth grade, where that hotel is now. And I ended up going to this hotel with uh, my girlfriend, and her sister was staying there. And we went to the pool for that hotel. And I like walked into the pool, and I was like, like, "Click, yo, this is it. It's the La Quinta now." But I think it used to be a Ramada. Inn. I think I know where that one was. Yeah. Sorry about the IHOP. Yeah. Damn. Oh, have you ever seen the show Shameless? Yeah. So, you know how it's portrayed to be in Chicago? Okay. The story of it. Yeah. Uh, me and my roommate actually went to the house that it's, like, not shot at. Obviously, it's, like, in a studio, but... But it's, like, the outer... It's frame, the actual yeah. house like that San they Francisco use. Like, for full house? Yeah, yeah. We actually went there uh, one time in Chicago... We borrowed one of my friend's cars at the time. Did you not get a car while you were up there? No. Uh, you couldn't get a car until after you finished day school. That was, like, the rule. Yeah, no, I didn't get a and car. And then not everybody got one. My girlfriend got a car, so she was, like, our way around after the fact. Yeah. I had a friend. I had two or three people. Oh, actually, Paulina actually had a car at the time, yeah. too. But I never borrowed her car. I used to borrow the other. You know what was crazy? In the Navy, especially at school... Loaning out cars is like a normal thing, big time. That's fucking crazy. Like that's like, let me use your car real quick to go here. Go pick up this girl or go to yeah, the fucking Yeah, or airport. use yeah, exactly. Fucking, I'm just like, yeah, okay, what? Fucking fill it up on gas though, please. That, yeah, yeah, like, I got you. That okay. tripped me out. That lifestyle was like totally different from. I I was, I was in the main building one time. It was like it's like where the big head honchos of the base were, and because I was the, I was the president of the coalition of sailors against destructive decisions. Um, you really? Yeah. Oh, okay. And so I went up to my LPO, this is YN2. Leading petty officer. Yeah, my leading petty officer. Kind yeah. of like my boss, my immediate boss. And I was like, hey, I like really want a burrito. And he's like, oh, man, that sounds so good. And I'm like, let me take your car and I'll go get us some. Because like, you ever go to El Famous Burrito? No. If there was ever a <laughs> mocha salsa equivalent in Illinois, it'd be El Famous Burrito. You yeah, know. Delicious. And so he's like, okay, yeah. Here, here, yeah. 
and he gives me his keys and I'm gone for like 30 minutes literally just to go pick up the burritos yeah and he get I get back and he's like fucking sweating like oh my gosh I was just gonna call you like I thought you crashed and I thought what a dumb idea I just like did a fucking stupid mistake like why would I do this blah 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 and I'm like dude it's alright like slid him a burrito <laughs> you're good dude we're good to go what was it? what was it? Oh <laughs> you need to, I you need to stay on top of your game what was the what were we talking about? what were we talking about? What's the main what's the main subject in this video right now? We need oh, like oh, yes. we need like a paper out over here. It's just like what we're talking about. Memorable places. Memorable places. I need that. I went to the <laughs> I can keep on going, man. Go ahead, go ahead. I went to the International Spy Museum in DC. That was pretty cool. Um I thought it was gonna be a lot cooler. It's very tourist trap. You said spy? Spy, yeah. It's very like tourist trappy. Yeah. Like you kind of just get pumped through it, and it's like, oh, I'd love to learn about spies, but then you get in there and you're like, uh, I don't really care about spies that much. And then you get to the gift shop and like, I want to get something from here, and then you look at everything it's they have and you're like, nah, I don't really need something from here. Yeah. Oh, I have an, I have one. I'm sorry. I have one. I can go. Yeah. So yeah. So. <laughs> so. <laughs> So Disneyland, California. Oh. Yeah. So I think, honestly, I went there so many times, but, like, it was because of the dance. My dance team that I was oh. in in high school. Yeah. Uh, my director for our dance team also worked at Disneyland. So we used to go there all the time. Why would you do that? Why are you looking over there? So me right out here. Oh, anyways, you just go there all the time. Yeah, so we would perform at like the, you know, like their marathons and shit like that. Yeah, that's cool. So we would be like the people on the side, like cheering people on. You know, they would dance sometimes. They would rotate out, dance for people, and then, you know, cheer them so on. So you like, like that. did you guys get paid to do that? Or? We got we got two park hopper tickets. Worth. Yeah. Worth Hell it, yeah. yeah. So would I mean, just one parade, or you gotta do it like at the end of the day. Uh, it would be like a marathon that morning, and then they would allow us to go to Disneyland but we wouldn't oh. use the park hopper ticket we would just go in for free that day so then you could use those park hopper tickets on your own time yeah yeah. Oh. and then we would actually perform in one of like the the smaller areas like the smaller stages our school would like perform that day like band dance and all that stuff yeah and then after we perform we could stay in the park the whole day yeah too. yeah so it was like a that's kind of cool it was like I was on the team for four like all four years of my high school career so I went every year and it was only once a year you said uh, for like the Disneyland marathon once or twice like people running yeah yeah my sister did that like she did the marathon yeah oh okay yeah so there would be like I don't know I don't know how it worked but since she was a director she like kind of and she worked at Disneyland she kind of did all that stuff yeah, so yeah. I, I don't know really know how it worked but yeah we always go every year and honestly like it was really fucking fun yeah like especially like cause we would go as a whole team and we would just you guys like stay in your dance fit like we would have we'd have like a a uniform <laughs> we had a uniform to go walk around in yeah but not in like our performance stuff but I think it was just really fun always was it like to a school uniform or like it was just like a t-shirt that had like WCHS dance dance and drill oh, all male man. team you know and then our names and stuff like oh, that it was all male but it was teams. like it was all male and dance drill yeah so our shirts were like fucking bright gold so it would be easily distinguished yeah, like we're out. at this school what a what a good business plan by Disney like it probably wasn't hard to sell that at all hey I bring performers to you give them day Harper, hopper t- Harper day hopper tickets yeah and uh, let them stay in the park because all Disney sees is like they're gonna stay in. Yeah, and they're spend gonna stay money. in and just fucking spend money. And then yeah. I give them two free tickets for performing, so they can come back and spend money. <laughs> Easy. But dude, those those tickets now are ridiculous. They're like they're over a hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah. Over a hundred dollars. Park hopper tickets are like at least two to three hundred dollars. Really? Yeah. Park hopper? Yeah. Yeah. It's if ridiculous. You, if you don't got the fucking homie hookup in Disneyland, Disneyland? Yeah. yeah, you're gonna be hurting. It's actually surprising that. Well, it's not surprising. A lot of my friends. In the dance community, when I was in, uh, I, I make it seem like that's like another military thing. 
<laughs> but when I was in the dance community in high school, a lot of them joined the Disneyland parade. Yeah. Like at the actual theme park, like they would be like just performing and yeah, doing yeah. random shit. So, a lot of them could, I mean, probably get me Still in. Still get you in. Yeah. I think my cousin ended up getting fired from there. Oh. So that was my last fucking. My director actually still works there too, so oh, maybe I'll hit her up. Yeah, she's really old. Oh. <laughs> well, yeah, Disneyland, California Adventures. Yeah, I went there a lot as a kid. My dad used to like pull me out of school. Not pull me out of school. He wouldn't even send me to school. Like my mom would leave for work and he'd be like, "We're not going to school today. We're going to Disneyland." Really? My, yeah, my uncle worked at the ESPN zone there. Oh. So at downtown? Would, like, yeah, he would get us on to like the little tram. That yeah, goes yeah, yeah, yeah. Downtown Disney. And we just take the park in, or take the, the tram in. So we'd spend the day at Disneyland, like, on a that's Tuesday so. when, like, nobody was there. It was fun. That's like the that's like the thing where it's, like, they trick you to go to the dentist. Yeah. Like, we're going to go to Disneyland today. Don't tell anyone. I don't think he could keep it in, though. He was just like, <laughs> he couldn't be like, we're going to the dentist. He'd be like, wake up, and I'm, like, getting ready for school. We're going to Disneyland. And I'm like, oh, all right. Oh. It was a... Uh, so I kind of went there a lot as a kid, so I kind of got tired of it. Yeah. Which is odd because I like cartoons and stuff. Yeah. And then um, the summer before I went to join the Navy, my friends, I had friends who I lifeguarded with that also worked at Disneyland. So they got us, like, they got us tickets in, like, almost every Thursday or Friday we'd go to, like, California Adventure at Disneyland. Really? Yeah, just off, like, the, like, the hookup. Like, we didn't even have to, like, like, throw them any cash or anything. It was just like, yeah. And we get these little passes called, uh readmission passes so it's like if the if the ride breaks down they give you these readmission passes uh, so it can like take you to the front of the line so wow. we got like a bunch of these passes so we can like get to the front of the line of everything wow like, you cheated the system no question oh yeah we did and so I went there a lot and that was really fun and then my sister really wanted to go like last time I went home yeah um and the I feel like that was a time that I felt like I lost my sense of childlike wonder oh. because the dude, I was, he, he's like checking your bags and shit. And I'm like, what do you want me to do? Like holding my hands out like this. And he's like, oh, what are we, a robot? <laughs> like moving like a robot. And I was like, do you want to check my bag or not? <laughs> and he's like, oh, uh, no, you're fine. And I'm like, fucking, what's that guy's deal? <laughs> fucking weirdo. <laughs> God. What are we, a robot? <laughs> Fucking idiot. You know, like, oh my god. I'm, you're a dizzy line, I'm an man. adult. <laughs> oh my oh, god. Oh, oh man. I don't even think adults, not sorry. All adults are like that. Sir, sorry, sir. Didn't mean to be a dick. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah. I didn't say it directly to him, but I was just like, nah. what's wrong with you? You're a professional, goddammit. Act like it. <laughs> no, they're at Disneyland. <laughs> what the hell? I thought about it after. Right. <laughs> at the moment, though, I was like, wow. I was, You're a, evil, I was a salty sailor at that point. Didn't have time for people's shit. When you uh, when you were a lifeguard, you were at a lifeguard at a pool, right? Not at yeah, it was at a high school pool. Oh, okay. Because I had a buddy, David, actually, David's eyes. He was a lifeguard at Raging Waters. Oh, that's cool. But before he was there, I, I would get season passes in, like, middle school. Yeah. I would go there every week, too. I was fucking... Is that close to you? Elbow, elbow dark black, huh? Elbow dark black. Uh, no, San Dimas? That was like... A little far. Still like 30 minutes away. Yeah, oh, that's not too bad. I was living in... Uh, remember that, that hotel place I was talking to? Palm Spring, whatever yeah. it is, that, on the tall tower? Yeah, yeah. Or on the tall hill? Yeah. I used to live like right there, like right across uh, the street from that okay. place. And I would go with my front door neighbors all the time. That's cool. Yeah, I yeah. was black as fuck at the time. Though. I would uh, like hop on my bike at 7 and get to the pool by 8. Like, was that your high school? Yeah, it was at the high school that I went to, but it was like through the community center. Okay. And the only reason like I got it in there is because my friends had worked for like the summer kids program for, okay. for like three years at that point, and then my his sister was like a lifeguard for four years, so they're like, yeah, they like gave me good recommendations, and so that coupled with the singing that I did, that's for the oh yeah yeah, singing yeah, yeah, interview, yeah. like they were sold on me. Uh, that was pretty fun. I was also very dark. So when I got to boot camp, I was like dark as fuck. Yeah. That was the last thing my mom saw of me. And I like FaceTimed <laughs> her one time and she saw my the back of my hand like from the four snowy months in Illinois. And she's like, that's not your hand. <laughs> I was like, but it is my hand. You're not that light. I'm like, but I am this light. Yeah. This is probably the lightest I've ever been. Actually, not right now. Especially during the summer. When we first... 
when we first pulled out yeah, for this deployment, I was super light. Because this is that was before we had to do uh, the BAM transits yeah. and stuff like that. The Bama Almond Dead. Well, I, don't, I don't honestly don't even know what BAM is. The Bama Almond Dead. Oh. That's what it stands for. It's a stretch of sea in between Yemen and Djibouti. The letter. No. S E A. The letters. Um, you hear our podcast? Yeah, that? I can. <laughs> Somebody's listening to our podcast on the net, like down on their console. Dude, dude, no, you can't. What? No, no, no. no, no. Uh, Why would they do? No, that? they're not. <laughs> Someone's just listening to our podcast right now. Oh, oh we're I recording our podcast. Dude, what's your? Yo, what's this guy's deal? We'll edit that Go out. Go take a lap. No, I will have to edit that out. Don't say we. We'll edit that out. <laughs> You're the tech guy. Virginia. Ah. Fa- like, what are, what are we talking about again? <laughs> Memorable I places? I don't know if I'm going to have a lot of memor- like. Ah, I remember so fun Because you can find a good wing place anywhere. Yeah. Pick and pour just happens to be the good one. Yeah. I can't really. Virginia, I don't know. When I was up in Dogrin, we'd like go to D.C. That's probably more memorable than memorable than being in Norfolk. That's terrible because uh, you've been in Norfolk for a long time. Yeah. Too. Going up to Williamsburg is kind of cool. It's like all colonial and shit. So they have like the old fucking houses and shit like that. Yeah. You gotta like, you could like walk around the little houses or you can like pay general admission, which was like 20 bucks per person. And they'd like take you into the houses and like do little expos of old shit they used to do. My mom was like, I don't wanna do all that. Just. I oh, just this is when your parents were here? Yeah. They had the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. That was pretty cool. Yeah. But that was when we were supposed to, Me and my girlfriend were going back to Dahlgren to visit our friends. And I, like, saw Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum. And I was like, stop the car. <laughs> and she's like, why? I was like, we gotta have to go. Why? <laughs> and she's like, fine. What a weird ass it was fucking, sounding voice. It was cool. Why? I like that place. Uh, I hate the oceanfront, though. Not memorable. Like Virginia Beach? Yeah. Yeah. You like, lost your phone there. I did And then you man. found your phone. Yeah. Because this dude from West Virginia sent it back to me. West Virginia. But the shack, I like the shack. Which I is didn't also even know, on the oceanfront. I didn't even know there was a inside with oh, a DJ. Yeah. Was, I like, really didn't spot. know that yeah. until the last time I went. For your birthday? Was that my birthday? When everybody went? Was that my birthday? Yeah. I didn't go. Did I not tell you? No, I think I was doing something else that night. Oh. But, yeah, the shack is, like, the shack is the only cool thing about the oceanfront. Because you go there, like, people are like, oh, yeah, Virginia Beach is so tight. And you get there, and, like, there's no waves. All the water's murky. You can see, like, oil rigs <laughs> off the coast. Motherfucking carriers flying by. You know, some little, like, dude is pissing off the side and throwing trash at the same time over the side of the ship. And, like... From where the sand starts to where the ocean uh, starts is yeah. like it's not that deep. Seventy-five yards. Yeah, it's not deep. It's Whereas, like, when you go to Huntington Beach, it's yeah. like a goddamn quarter mile from where the yeah, sand starts. Yeah, but you're literally comparing the East Coast beaches to the West Coast beach, dude. I don't know how it is in Florida. That's their big beach. Yeah. So it's when not, we're like, we're going to the beach, and I get there, and there's like only rentals, like. Where are the Mexicans with their easy ups fucking <laughs> cooking on the little grill and shit? They don't have any of that stuff. Uh, and there's like God. only hotels and shops like right on that yeah. beachfront. And I'm just like, so. Ugh. Yeah, it's not. I love Virginia Beach shirts everywhere. It's not what I expected to yeah, be honest with you. Definitely not. Because they they hyped up Virginia Beach a lot and a lot of and a lot of like, I guess movies or just from like people saying that it's really good. Yeah. But I honestly. I'm not trying to be like all California and all, but I really like the beaches in California. But yeah, I've never been to what other beaches? Florida beaches. Yeah, no, me but either. I imagine the ones in San Diego are pretty good too. I didn't know. Sa- I didn't yeah. know Laguna Beach was so nice. Yeah, there's like, another one more. I can't remember what the name is. Are the Corona del Mar? That's a little bit more north, right? South. South. Yeah. That I don't remember. That's where like all the tide pools are and stuff. I mean, the, oh, actually, I was going to talk about Huntington Beach because Huntington Beach, I only remember these places because my parents would take me all the, all the time. They would take me, like, I can't remember. Like It would be, like, early in the morning. Like They would just wake me up, like, hey, we're going to the beach. And yeah. I'd be like, okay, and then I'd go in the car and fall asleep. 
and wake up and we're at the beach. But this is when, like, I had, it, not my eczema, but I had, like, really bad, like, skin at the time. Yeah. And my parents would always bring me to the beach, like, oh, yeah, it's going to help your skin, don't worry. And you're like, it's not going to help my skin. It did, I oh, guess, it did? Yeah. Oh, yeah. But I was, like, a little kid, like, Mother knows best. this was when I was, like, I thought I was a fucking waterbender. <laughs> and I was at the beach by myself. Like, my parents would be walking down. Yeah, and I'd be fucking moving water and shit. <laughs> little fat Filipino kid in the water by myself. <laughs> And, yeah, I used to go there all the time when I was little. There would be, like, this donut shop. I can't, I don't even know what it was called. But they always sell, like, these croissants with cheese. Yeah. You can't stop. You can't pull me out of the water. You'd have to be like, there's food. And I'd yeah. be like, all right, I'll be there in an hour. Yeah. I'd be out of my in boogie, an hour. In my boogie board. No, 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 no. My parents still, like, all these things, like the Ikea thing, the Huntington Beach thing, like, these are things that every time I go home for leave... This is something that they still want to do yeah. all the time. And I still do it. Like, it just... It's it's nostalgic, you know? Yeah. I went... So, that's funny that you say your parents used to go, like, early, early in the morning. Yeah. Because like, it'd be fucking dark outside. Yeah, it would be like... They wake you up at, like, 5.30. Hey, start getting your stuff together. Yeah. Come hey, on. We're, we're parking the... We're parking. We're packing the car. And so, we, like, drive to the beach, get there at 6, 6.30, mm-hmm. get a fucking fire pit, and be there from 6.30... To like eleven o'clock at <laughs> night, night, yeah, like all day, and like family members would rotate in. Some people would only stay for a little bit. Some people would stay there for the whole time, like we did. Yeah. They'd get there like two hours later, stay till eight or whatever, or stay till eleven. And uh, then I like started going to the beach with just my friends, and yeah. my dad would be like, "Well, what are you guys taking for food?" And I was like, "I don't know. Like we're packing some sandwiches." That's not food. Yeah. Like, what are you, you going to do if you're going to be there all day? And I was like, we're not going to be there all day. We're only going there for like a couple hours. And he's like, what's the point of even going then? And I'm like, I don't know, man. They just invited me. I'm just hanging out. And he's like, you guys don't know how to do it. You'll learn. Yeah. I still it's don't different. know how to do it because I definitely, like, you've been to Chick's Beach? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 I've been there with you. Yeah? Yeah. And then the, the bar there, that... The oyster, oyster bar? bar there? Yeah. Well, have I been there with you? I don't think you've been to no. Chick's Beach with me, but Not you might you. have been to Chick's Oyster Bar. I've been to the Oyster Bar. I've been to Chick's... Oh, I've been, I've been there with Paulina yeah. and my roommate. And so, like, even when me and my friends go there, the only thing we take is, like, a six-pack and a bag of chips, and then... Yeah, because we're not there that long. Yeah. It's, it's not really a beach you can be there all day. Because it's not... <sighs> I don't know. I don't, if I'm going to the beach, I want to get fucked up by waves. Like, yeah. Almost drown. Exactly. That's the goal. It's just like it's just always so calm all the time. Yeah. Uh, no. But I don't. <laughs> what? You're so awkward. Me? Why do you do this to me? Me? Yeah. Why? What do I do? You just go. But <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, I I like all the beaches in California. There there's some beaches though where it's just like rocks. No sand. Yeah. Just rocks. You go to, like, Bolsa Chica, and it's, like, dark sand, and you're like, what the fuck? Don't know where that is. It's, like, north of Huntington Beach. Oh. So, like, at one point, because Huntington Beach is, like, a city beach. Okay. And Bolsa Chica is, like, a county beach. Sure. So. I don't know that. It's, like, the same beach, like, there's no real division. It's just at some point, the lifeguard towers change and becomes a county beach. Oh. I see, I see. Like a city line or whatever. Like they an imaginary that, city line? Yeah. They have that BJ's out there too. That one's good. BJ's is good. Bazooki. Well, I mean, like Zookies. the restaurant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, both. <laughs> uh, I enjoy the Bazookies, yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> was, that, was that one of those awkward <laughs> moments again? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Dude, stop. <laughs> oh, fuck, man. Fuck, yeah, really, Virginia is not too memorable. Yeah, no. Because the only place I go to is Ghent. Yeah. And that's, like, the it's only just, place I really like going to. It's, like, eateries and fucking bars, and that's yeah. kind of it. Is it because I'm 21 now? I don't know. Like, I wouldn't even consider going to a Tides game, honestly, right really. What's a Tides game? Like the semi-pro, like triple-A baseball team that they have. Oh, I don't even know. Yeah, oh, isn't that the one that's... Uh, the Norfolk Tides. Okay. 
Their stadium's like right next to that. The, sh- the, the bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Although I do want to go to a Norfolk Admirals game. The hockey That's game? That's a hockey team, yeah. I heard those dudes just fuck each other up and in hockey. Yeah, yeah. I kind of want to. I kind of want to go to a hockey game once in my life, at least. And there's like, I was talking about it, and one, this one, I forget who it was, but they're like, Psh, they suck. And I'm like, I'm not there to watch hockey. I'm there to. Pretty sure it's Howard. See people get cross checked. <laughs> I think it is Howard. Psh, they suck. All right, dude. I don't even know the rules. I didn't know what icing was for the longest time. Icing? Yeah. Like. <laughs> A lot of stuff doesn't know what that is. No, in hockey. It's where you like. The one where your buddy bought you icing? No. <laughs> what? It's where you like. So you shoot, don't like icing. You shoot the puck down to the other end of the <laughs> rink, not like with no intention of passing anybody. You just. Oh, you're you just, just. fucking fling it down there to get it, it out. Yeah. Okay. It's to get it allowed. out of the way or yeah. just. But that's not allowed. You have to have passing with intention. Oh, that's not allowed? Yeah. Hello? Dude, is it gonna break? Oh, fuck me, dude. <laughs> Does that mean it's gonna break? I hate, I hate my. That means it's, that means it's, that means it's no, gonna break. No, it's not gonna break. I mean, no, it doesn't. Secret. Uh. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> dude, why are you making this so awkward? <laughs> I don't know. Like, yeah, this is really sad. Like, I'm trying to think of memorable places. It's just not. We've just been out here for too long. It's not clicking. Did you hear that they're trying to pull us in uh, within the next week to your booty? You're fucking lying. Dude, I saw the message traffic. Dude. I don't believe you. I saw I the message traffic. You. No. I synced it. I don't believe you. That's I, not a... I synced it. I'm not going to say the dates, but they're trying to pull us in for a period of time. I don't believe you. Where they That's get- just so unbelievable. Like, I... We've been told... We haven't even been told this, but the rumors... What do you think the all-hands call tomorrow is for? The wog ceremony. It's after the wog ceremony. Oh, is it? No, it's not. <laughs> what? The, what? <laughs> Still, why would they do a all hands call for a wog ceremony? I don't fucking know. Davy Jones is supposed to board the ship. So we have this tradition <laughs> in the Navy called crossing the line, and it's crossing when the line. <laughs> <laughs> it's when the ship crosses the equator, and everybody who's crossed the equator before has gone through the ceremony already, and it's called the shellback ceremony, and. Uh, Anybody who hasn't crossed the equator already is a polywog. And so you have the polywogs, him, I'm a perform polywog. for the shellbacks, a talent show, me. And then the next You're day... You're a talent show. No, I'm the shellback. Oh. And the next day they go that. they go through a uh, rite of passage as it goes. And I'm, I'm not going to tell you what it is because then he's going to figure out what it is. I'm pretty stoked. I can't allow that. I'm pretty excited. It's a secret. The sad thing is, though... They're only doing this because we haven't pulled into a goddamn fucking port this all the time. Dude, oh. This is fucking what? deployment. <laughs> what? You did. We definitely did not click right there. <laughs> no one idea what you're saying. But yeah, they're doing this to compensate for the shitty deployment we've been having. So that's why I don't believe him that we're pulling into a port. Is it's this just what I heard? Everybody is saying, oh yeah, so I saw a message traffic. The next, the next port visit is when we go back home to Virginia. And that's believable. I believe that. I think... How drunk do you think you'd get <laughs> I'd figure, oh, if we pulled in? To a plate? Like a port? Yeah. I don't and know. And they're like, there's an on-base bar right down the street. We're off of work in two hours. I'd probably get really shit-faced and come back. I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even like... I probably wouldn't even go explore. I don't think so. I feel like if, if they would pull us in, they wouldn't let us out. Like, oh, coronavirus. Yeah, they wouldn't let us like out on the base, like out out of the base. But you can go like on the base or whatever. I think I think the only the only reason why people would be okay with pulling into a port is because of the internet. Yeah, that's true. If we didn't get or services, if we sure. weren't allowed to leave the ship, I'd way rather just stay out. Because it takes a lot of work. Yeah, I guess you. And then, but if we were at least allowed to leave the ship and like go get food or go to fucking a bar or something, I'd definitely be down to pull in and pound like all the beer. <laughs> that will start the brewery tour early. Kulata doesn't know shit about beer tour. I'm really sorry. I'm like, I'm just tired. Yeah, I was wondering whether doing it late at night was gonna affect us. <laughs> 
And I'm sorry. I apologize to, to everyone that's listening to the five of you that are listening on the ship, which is probably me and Ramirez and then three other people. Yeah, we're Hagen. Well, <laughs> Hagen counts as two people because she'll listen to it twice. <laughs> yeah, this is. I normally actually take a nap at this time before my watch. Mijo. Oh shit! This is gonna be. Before this is watch. right before my watch. Damn. Uh, I would have been up. Uh, I can't say anything. That's normal. People stay up this late. Yeah. So uh, they don't have to do what we do. Yes. I have this friend. Stand watch. Dude, it's hard in there. It's really? only hard because it's like. No one's in there to no talk No one's in there. To. It's like the seat's just shitty enough to be comfortable still. And you just like <laughs> sink down into it. And you're like kind of warm because your body's compact and the lights are blue. And like there's like a little whizzing from the power that's going on. And you're just like, you know, I could totally fall. <laughs> just knock out I actually don't do that yeah me either <laughs> um, but if I did that's how it would happen um yeah <laughs> I fucking hate you <laughs> memorable places memorable places Dude, it's like almost an hour what time is it I Should feel like we're just kind of trying to stretch this out right now it's like I don't know what time it is well, what you know what? But, um... Yeah! <laughs> See, I feel like you're tired, too, though. I am tired. Yeah. I I apologize for We gotta do this. We might not put this one out. Really? I don't know. Dude, we literally just did a whole hour <laughs> of this. No, no. We're gonna have to put it. It's good. I like it. Another memorable place is here with Ram. Whoa! Come here, buddy. Get away from me. <laughs> I'm so mad at you. For what? Nah. It doesn't matter. I actually, I called him earlier, because I know, you know how in the previous episodes, we talked about The Greatest Showman, and one of my buddies came up to our space, and he is like, hey man, I heard McDonald has the, the album. Is that why you guys listen yeah, to it? Yeah, that's why we're listening to it. Because like, I, I was just, I was just typing, I was, uh, I was typing some stuff on Microsoft Word, and I was like, fuck it, alright, let's play it. And then the songs came on, and I was like, oh, I know who else likes these, and I called you. Never, well, you're on watch. <laughs> I like uh, my music just shut off too. I had music playing. Dude, what's wrong with you? What? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> okay, whatever. But yeah, that's why I called. I called you because I knew you like the Greatest Showman. I do. The whole world knows that. Oh, another memorable place is my my apartment because I get to play Apex Legends. My new house is going to be memorable because I'll be able to sleep there and fucking... Mm, and fucking. And fuck I just love how people pause when they say and fucking. Fuck. You're a weird dude. That just yeah, I know. That's uh, that's all we got today. <laughs> We're tired. Yeah. This is a product of a tired U.S. sailor. <laughs> Make sure you tune in next time for episode six. Not so tired, but at the same time, perpetually tired. Perpetually.